What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Sanchez, you know, coming at y'all with another video. Just want to talk about this card called Light Spawn and tell you why I think it's bad. And I'm going to tell you why I think it's the brokenest card, one of the most. That's blurry. I want to tell you. I want to tell you my reason why I think this card is one of the most brokenest card in the game. In this deck. All right. First of all, we all know that. How can I say this? Priests are the best healers in the game, without a doubt. Light spawn says this main attack is e always equal to its health. That means light spawn has five health. Now, what? Well, now y'all might be saying, "Well, he has a five-five. It's not that good." A lot of Yeti can get over that. I mean, not Yeti. I'm talking about a few. A lot of cars can get over that. Nope, I'm not done. There's a combo that you can do to make launch to make um light spawn have over twenty attack. I want to explain that in this in this video. All right, so to do this, you're gonna need an inner fire. You're gonna need inner fire. You're gonna need two divine spirits in your hand, and you're gonna need, of course, light spawn in the hand. So the play is summon light spawn. Light spawn gains five attack in your turn. It's your turn again. You have six mana, right? No, you have five mana. Now, this is where everything gets crazy. Light Spawn has five five attack because of his effect, making him have five ha attack and five health. Activate your two divine spirits to make Light Spawn's health double. So, if you make Light Spawn health double, he'll have a fi he'll be a fifteen. At that point, he'll have fifteen attack. And at this point, you're gonna run Light Swan into any of your opponent's cards so that you can get them low. Now, at this point, you're gonna go ahead and activate Inner Fire, changing a minion's attack to be equal to its health. To equal to be equal to its health. Light Spawn to have 15 attack, 15 attack, and if you run it until let's say Storm. Stormwind Champion, a six attacker. He'll have nine left. This card, this card, your monster gains attack because of this card. It's not. It's that's not. It's it gains attack because of this card. So your card, so you can have a fifteen or a fifteen. You attack into Stormwind Champion, making him nine. Activate. You'll go ahead and activate Inner Fire. To make him, to make him, fifteen plus nine equals equals twenty four attack. So he will have twenty four attack and nine health, and that's a big gap to get over. Big gap, unless your opponent has like a, a um, a a full destruction card. But even at that, they're still wasting mana. That's just wasting mana. It's wasting mana, bro. Uh, you might want to use two inner fires. Those might be better. So I'm gonna be rebuilding this deck to help you guys out. I know some suggestions. So there's two different variations I go with. I can go with the mind control deck, or I can go with the pump up deck. So we're gonna go with the pump up deck. So we're gonna what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go custom priest, and we're gonna put in all the cards that I'm gonna tell you to put in right now. First off, you're gonna put in the inner fire. If you have two, please put in two, two mind vision. That's key. Put in two power word shield. Northshire cleric is a must. Divine spirit is a must. Mind blast. You can only you you can use one of them if you want. Shadow Word Pain, you can use one if you want to. Uh, Shadow Word Death, you can use one if you want to. Luffin' Raptor is a good card in this deck. Thought Steel is like a must. Iron Forge, Iron Forge Rifle Minis, I don't know why I have it in here. But it's just a filler. Two Iron Forge Grizzly. Uh, you're gonna need... 
You get, matter of fact, you can take out an iron forge and rifle me or two. Matter of fact, you can take out both if you want to. All right, yeah. So you can go ahead and take out. You can go ahead and take out both iron forge rifle As matter of fact, because you don't really need them, just for extra damage. So just go ahead and take out. Oh no. Go ahead and take out two iron forge right. You're both iron forge rifle men. This deck doesn't really need a lot of taunts because of its great ability to have a lot of health. And you'll always be on top of your opponent in health if you play your cards right. Alright. Thought still is a must, like I said. Ogre Meiji is a very good card in the deck. You don't have to be a must, but you could play it. Alright, I'm going to give you two cards that you can play. You can rather play Ogre Ma Meiji or whatever this card. Or you can play Stormwind Champion, which is also a good card. Or you can just take out a Mind Control, which I don't know why I have Dark Scale Healer is another card that you might want to add. So that's one of your, your different options. Uh, Dragonlin Mechanic is another one. Sige and Shield Mas Master is the only other taunt I would recommend, and that's it. So don't try to go off with taunts, because you don't need them in this deck. A Dark Scale Healer you can put in your deck. Uh, uh, alright. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about, yeah, Stormwind is a good card to put in your deck. Because you can use Divine, you can use like a, you can use Power Word Shield to give him 8 health. Plus, you draw a card off of that. Uh, Silver Hand Knight, I just got. So, I'm not. Holy, oh yeah, Holy Nova is a must in this deck. Must. Now, for the last 5 cards, you might want to put in. You want to put in a few. You want to put in one more, you want to put in just one beat stick. So just go for one beat stick, and that will be. Lord Arena is a good one you can put in there. Frostwolf Warlord, I will go with. Do not try Gobrashi Berserker. I will put that in the mage deck because the mages can do one damage on a hero power and target any card. Bringing, and when Gobrashi loses health, he gains three attack, which is very broken. That's what I do in my deck. Warlord is not a bad card to put in. If you play it with Silver Hand Squire, it's not a bad card at all. Because then Silver Hand Squire gives you a 2 2. Plus, you summon Frostwolf, Frostwolf you'll have a 2 2, a 4 4, and a 6 6. And if you play Divine Help, you may have, you can have even more. Uh, four more cards you can put in. Now, four cards that I would recommend is see, this deck is so good that I don't even need no more cards. Oh yeah, my bad. It do. Uh, Shattered Song Cleric must must have two of these. They are broken in this deck. They are literally just broken. A Novice Engineer you can put in your deck as well. Even though they get destroyed easily. I don't know why when I play on turn what turn two. But when I play like a, a level, a, a one man a car, for some reason, everybody wants to get rid of it. Like, you only taking one damage. So, I don't know what's the problem with taking one damage. Swamp Ooze is a filler. I'm going to give you your three your three options. You can write up for the last card, you can put right rather put in Acidic Swamp Ooze. Because he can destroy your opponent's crap. Uh, Shadow or Pain is a good one, but I'm not saying that one's. Mind Blast might be one. That's a, actually a, a, a win condition card. I already have, you know, you already have one in your deck. Good. Mind Control, yes. Mind Control is a very good win condition card, but it causes 10 mana. And you normally can carry your opponent before that, but they summon like a legendary, and you're in the arena, and you're going serious. My control is a very slow card. Don't play that. Shadow Word Death, you can play. Or Shadow Word Pain. Those are the other fillers. One more filler. I really gotta go with. Definitely. Dark Scale Hunter. Dark Scale Healer. Healer is your last filler. And as well as Dragon Loom Mechanic. Those are your those are your five. I, I believe it's five. Because Dark Scale Healer, if you play. North Shark Cleric, and she doesn't have her normal health, and you summon Dark Scale Healer. 
She'll gain health, but that's not it. She'll restore two health to all friendly characters, plus North Northshire Cleric special ability. Grants you one card. And if you play Power Word Shield, you get two cards. So you can get a plus two. Plus two. Plus a four. Plus she has four health. Plus she has five. Five. Four hit. Five health. Come on, man. Come on. But this is only for like rank 20s and stuff. Silverhand Knight, as I said, is a, is a card that you may play. Frostwolf Warlord is a card that I probably want to recommend more a lot. Ogre Meiji is a card, but I don't know. Uh, I'm, on, I'm on the other side. So we're looking for one more card, and I'm going to use just a random example of the card I was doing. Exceeded Swamp Rules. Yeah, so that's your 30 card deck. So I'm just going to not talk for a minute and just me. I'm just going to read out the cards. And I'm going to read out the optionary ones. One Inner Fire. If you have more than one, please play it. And take out. Take out Frost Wolf Warlord for it. Or no, take out Acidic Swampoos for it. Two Mind Vision must. Two Power War Shield must. Northshire Cleric must. Times two. Divine Spirit times two. Mind Blast. One one of them, but must. Shadow Word Praying must, but one. Acidic Swampoos, you don't have to have that. Bluffing Raptor, two must. Shadow Word Death, one must. Thought Still. Plus, should be two, but a must anyway. I for a Grizzly, two, must. Raid Leader, two, must. Shadow Sun Cleric, two, whatever. Two is broken, must. Wolf Rider, you don't have to have two of. Light Spawn, always have to have two. That's the center of this deck. Ogre Meiji, have to have, you need to have at least one of these. These will be your backup beat stick. Frostwolf Warlord will be your third back, backup beat stick, and that's it. Uh, holy, holy Nova is a must in this deck. It's too good not to be. Uh, yeah. So you can play mind control, mind control. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Or I can give you some examples of other cards that you might could play to take out a card. Uh, silence a minion. That's a good card for zero mana. You can play that. Like if you're in, like you, your opponent playing all these taunts and you got like life spawn on the field, but you don't want to have life spawn attack. Uh, um. A taunt you can go with that zero mana card. Uh she's not good. Prophet Velen is a Prophet Velen is actually broken. Spells and hero power. They would have damage and healing of of your spells and hero power. That means mind blast can go to a 10. That means you do 10 damage on mind blast. Holy Fire isn't a bad card, actually, it's very good. Uh, Light Bomb does deal f damage to each minion equal to its attack. So that's actually a good combo with um with Light Spawn when he has the combo. When you did that combo, you can combo do that one. Shadow Form does your hero power becomes deal two damage if already in Shadow Form deal three damage. Horrible card. Mind Game just same as Thought Steel, but not better. But yeah, guys, so let's just go back to the deck. Look at it for a good 30 seconds. Just get your little idea.